What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel smoking and grilling with me a b now you just seen that muddy shot and i want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below is your mouth watering and tell me if you're gonna make this today i'm getting ready to show you just how easy it is to make a fettuccine seafood alfredo super easy we're not gonna over talk it we finna get on these ingredients and we finna get it okay so you guys can see not a whole lot of ingredients on this one right here right so look you gotta have yourself some parmesan cheese garlic cloves, evaporated milk. Check this out. I just want to know how many of y'all remember these? Seem like these are almost like obsolete. You know, you poke a hole and you pour. Hey, this just takes me way back, you know, doing that. Right here, I got about a pound of uh, shrimp. Now you guys use whatever you want, you know, how much shrimp you want to, you know, put in there. For me, I always go overboard and do too much. But look, I'm gonna just say it this way. I can't do enough when it comes to shrimp. So we got shrimp. And then right here, look, I made this. Now this is completely optional. This is Italian seasoning, a little Creole kick, and a little paprika. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that on there and let that kind of like marinate while we get everything together, right? Fresh basil. And then we got sour cream. Now, I just wanna ask you guys, let me know down in the comment section below, what is a good substitution for uh, sour cream? Now, let me show you, okay, then right here, of course you gotta have a fettuccine, right? I already strained this, this is ready to go. Just cook these al dente and put that off to the side like that. And then for the star, cause we say seafood, right? Check it out. Didn't get like the big giant uh, legs, but this right here do. You can use snow crab, but obviously you see I'm using king crab. We just gonna shred this up, you know, cut a couple of chunks and then add that to that so we can make it on the seafood side. Hey, with that being said, let's get it. Now look, this is what I'm gonna do. I didn't show you, look, you gotta get some olive oil. This one right here is my infused olive oil. This is infused with uh, garlic. You know what, since we do an Alfredo, you start thinking of Italian, you know what I mean? So that's why I go ahead and use this. This step is completely optional. You don't need to do anything, but just put some olive oil inside of your pan and then cook it. But for us, we just gonna put a little bit in here like this. We're gonna add our little seasoning that we made. And we're gonna get in here with our hand and we're just gonna give it a little Make sure everything has just been coated. And we're gonna let it sit up just for a minute. You know what I mean? At least let it sit five minutes. The flesh of a shrimp, you know, absorbs everything. So that garlic infused, that garlic infused olive oil, along with the seasonings that you guys put in here, that, that's only if you guys want to. It's just like, these are just like level up for the dishes, you know? Cause right now we finna, you know, call Olive, olive Garden and tell them, uh, hey, watch out. We about to open up a, a copycat restaurant. Hey, but it should look like that. Yes, sir. And we'll just let this sit up just for about five minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, put a little olive oil, maybe like just somewhere right around a teaspoon, tablespoon, excuse me, just to get it going. And don't forget, since I season mine, I got a little bit of olive oil on my actual uh, shrimp. Okay, so everything seems to be up to temp, right? I'm using 350. If I go to 375, that's more like a medium high. But I'm gonna go ahead and just add them like this. Now this right here is a lot of shrimp. Like I said, I like to have, you know, shrimp. I'm gonna go ahead and raise it up just a little bit. Now we just gonna cook this for about four minutes, right? Under this direct heat like this, we just want them to turn pink, start to curl up, and then we are gonna set them aside. Okay, so you can see, this is about four and a half minutes. I've already flipped them over after two minutes. Look at them, they're curling up, they're nice and pink, just the way I like them. Hey, we are gonna stop it right now. Let me stop this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in a bowl and set this to the side. Okay, look, I went ahead and started breaking down some of that, you know, that king crab meat, right? You can see you got some big lumps. I'll tear those down, but I just want to show you guys, if you use this, how this meat comes out, and you'll see why I chose it. I mean, you can go with lump crab meat, you can go with snow crab legs, it doesn't matter. This right here, when you open these up, look at this. Look at that. That's a nice piece of goodness right there. All right, so now we're gonna put about another tablespoon, you know, of olive oil. Now we up to temp, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, look how big this clove, this garlic clove is. Take this, give it a squeeze. Now we'll go ahead, open this up. Oh, 
Okay, you can see, got it up to a boil, right? Just like a real, like a simmer, a light boil simmer. This is what we got right here. Okay, I just turned off the heat, right? Heat's gone. So, we're gonna go with our Parmesan. You know what, I'm gonna start with this first. I'm gonna go ahead, add my sour cream. We'll work this in. And while it's still hot, now we're gonna add our Parmesan. Now after you're adding your Parmesan cheese, look, you wanna continue to stir it, right? It's the residual heat that's left over in that liquid right there that'll, you know, start to get that to melt and you'll notice it'll start to thicken up. But if you keep stirring it, that and the sour cream will melt just fine. All right, so you can see it's starting to thicken up. You know, all I'm doing is just continue to stir it, right? Now, we're gonna bring our fettuccine. We're gonna let that come into play. Now I want you to take a look. When I start adding the fettuccine, see how it kind of like sticks to my hand? That's good. Don't add no olive oil onto it, right? You want it to be sticky, so as you're mixing that in your sauce, look, it helps the sauce adhere to your noodles, and that's kind of like a trick. You want it to be a little bit on the sticky side, then just mix it up. Okay, so you see we got it like that, right? So all I did was just mix it around, make sure some of the, uh, some of the sauce got all over the pasta, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and start sprinkling it. And I'm sprinkling, you know, the, the crab in right now, just like you see, but we still gonna give it a stir. As you can see, it's coming together real nice. Again, I like to go back to tell it, asking you guys, hey, is your mouth watering? It should be. Look at that. Now we go ahead and add, you know, these shrimps. Now, let's watch the magic. And look at this right here. Now we're not done. You remember I had that fresh basil? We're gonna go ahead and mint some of that up a little bit. And then we're gonna sprinkle that in here for a little color. You know what I mean? But this right here is fire, folks. Now I want you guys to notice, look, as you add in that parsley, first thing you can see visually is with your eyes, you can just see how it brightens it up. And not to mention that that's fresh basil. That right there minced down brings a nice little taste to it. And don't forget, you know, you already know that this is an Italian dish, right? So look, I'm gonna slow down my words and let you guys take a look at that as I plate it. But listen, you can put your your, your shrimp how you want it, your crab how you want it. But look at that right there, that's fire. So tell me what you guys think about this one here. You know what, super easy. And when I tell you it's light, it is kind of light. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, I don't wanna over talk it. I'm finna go in here. Get me a little bit of this. Make sure I got me some crab. You know what I mean? I could have did the whole spoon Italian thing, but we gonna get down like it's, like it's that spaghetti. You see that right there? Oh yeah. Let's bring that over here like that. Bring this like this. Hey, cheers y'all. Mm. Only word I'm gonna give it is fire. Now look, you know, it's all kind of fettuccines. You could put meat in this. I guess the most popular one would be uh, what? Chicken, right? I could have added some chicken to this. It's so customizable. This is what we're talking about. Not a whole lot of prep time. You figure, look, from the start to finish, this is about a 25 minute, you know, meal from prep to having it on your plate and serving it. Hey, so it's super easy. You guys take it, you know, taste it. Let me know how you like this kind of, uh, these kind of recipes down in the comment section below. Now. If you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, you guys, I got this fettuccine seafood Alfredo, and I gotta eat it right now, so I'm out. Peace.